three years ago. I should have been dead. They told me I couldn't fight. They told me that I shouldn't lift. The first doctor told me that I would never be able to compete again. They told me I would never be the athlete I once was. I've made a choice. A choice that has changed my life. I chose to be strong. My name is Anthony Daniels and I am 22 years old. I got a call from my doctor a couple days before Christmas diagnosing me with Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is the third time I'm battling it. I play pretty much every sport that you can play, baseball, basketball, hockey, roller hockey, you know, I did pretty much everything. I have two younger brothers, one's 21 and the other one's 18. <laughs> when we were really young, we would playfully wrestle and fight and everything and he wouldn't let me win, whether it was video games or outdoor sports. <laughs> They're my best friends and my brothers. I would die for them. When I first found out that Auntie was diagnosed with cancer, out of nowhere, the sun fell, it was dark, and he just came onto the field and just said, hey, the doctor just diagnosed me with cancer. Because of the severity of my disease and how it basically covered my entire chest cavity, I thought I would, I was gonna die. I didn't cry because I felt like I, from that moment on, I had to be the strong one. Hodgkin's lymphoma, in simpler terms, is basically abnormalities in the lymphatic system. So unlike other cancers where you can basically remove the tumors, you can't really do that with the blood disease because it'll just come back. I've had over 600 hours of chemo, eight different chemotherapies. I have a lot of sweatshirts on right now, but blood's coming out. I mean, something's wrong with the line. This place sucks. You just kind of sit here and just wait till it's done. I look at it like I have a life bar and it slowly just drains my energy levels, my my ability to function properly, my ability to think. Chemotherapy will deplete your body of uh, multiminerals, vitamins, enzymes, and to replace what that takes away will only make that cancer weaken and Anthony thrive. We didn't really touch on much about what you first looked like when you came in. Yeah, I had like that skinny kid. arms, skinny legs, like I was fat in the places I should You were bald, you be. were pale. Yeah, I looked miserable. And your, en and your energy was terrible. You actually think of your chemotherapy treatments as like, medicine that's gonna turn you into Superman. Yeah, and, dude. You know? It makes me into, dude, it makes yeah. me feel like Superman, my chemo treatment. Like, like, like a drug that's gonna make you grow in the gym or, or exactly. something that you're gonna benefit from. Yeah. See, that's, that's the other aspect of the mind. You have to think what, what's happening here, everything is positive. If you refuse to be positive, you're gonna feel worse about yourself, which is gonna lead you to be even more sick. Negativity brings me closer to death. I've had close to 20 PET scans. I've also had more blood drawn than you could possibly imagine. The amount of needles that have been through my body is sickening when you really think about it. My last chemotherapy treatment was my 21st birthday. I was in remission for what they said. My first checkup, found out that I had it again. That was when my life changed. The first time I had cancer, it attacked me. 
when I got cancer a second time and wanted to make a change, I attacked it. And that's what I'm doing with my life. I really needed an activity to make me feel strong, make me feel like I'm alive. The reason why I picked boxing and weightlifting when I got diagnosed a second time is because as a cancer patient, that would probably be the one thing a doctor would never guess you'd be able to do on a daily basis. The new I my boxing coach is someone that kind of took me in when I first started boxing. I was really sick, but I was really angry. I haven't met a person like Anthony. I haven't heard of a person like Anthony. He goes to the hospital in the morning, he goes for tests, he stays there for six hours, they pull the hoses at him or whatever they do over there, and he gets in here at night and fights. I'm gonna sweat all that chemo out. You taste it. You taste that chemo. I feel so sick, I feel so nauseous, I have a migraine. My bag's killing me. Still, still doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. I have people who've overcome a lot of things to get here, but the difference with him is he's overcoming something to stay here. Just because I'm sick doesn't mean I can't do what you do. When you see that, it actually adds belief because all that we're used to is the medical team saying, you only have so long to live or you can't do this, you shouldn't do that. Stay home and rest. And, and Anthony's saying, do the opposite. You know, just, just keep moving and go for it. I was told by a very good oncologist that if, it, if I wasn't as strong as I was, I'd probably be dead. If I can get this far and look like this and be as strong as I am, when I should be dead. Imagine what I'm gonna be like when I don't have cancer. Anthony's gone through a lot of different transformations physically, mentally, emotionally with cancer. I went to a doctor's appointment with him and the news wasn't what we expected to hear. I need another stem cell transplant, but I need a donor. Going through cancer treatments for the, the third time now, his options are getting smaller, they're becoming very minuscule. I'm under the one percentile to ever receive a match in the World Registry. So pretty much my chances of finding a, a 10 out of 10 match is completely rare. In my current situation, my cancer spreading and I do not have a match. If I don't get my match and I don't have a successful transplant, it's basically I won't make it. Uh, my life expectancy won't get past the five-year mark, you know. Hi, I just, I was just in an interview. That's why I couldn't, I didn't, my phone wasn't even ringing. I'll be there. All right, bye. I just need to get my shot and I'll be right back. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. It gets really hard at times to hear that we're going through all of these procedures and it still may not be enough. I actually met Anthony through a mutual friend of mine. When I found out that I had cancer and then Anthony had cancer, we, we worked together as a team, you know, like I wasn't alone in it. We fought, we went to war together, and we're still going to war together. Yeah. It sucks. Are you still going to chemotherapy? No, I have, I get it. Next Friday is my last one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, Corey's, uh, Corey's next chemo session, last chemo session next Friday. Getting a keg in the I room, so you gotta come. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, yeah, I got totally I got my first treatment going Friday, so I'll try to see. Mine's not that long enough. You'll be alright. Uh, yeah, um, that's so awesome. Uh, dude, you, you're going out, right? This guy, you gotta, you gotta make a party or something like that. I told you, I'm getting a keg. I'm doing keg stands while I'm getting chemo. It's gonna be awesome. Shut up. I'm just kidding. Talking to him over the last six months, he's really helped me believe and stay positive. There he is. Oh, the eyebrows are coming in. Look at that. They're coming in. 
We got the baby hair. That's sick, dude. Welcome. How good does it feel? He's had cancer three times. He's still alive. You know, he's still going to the gym. He still looks great. It's no BS. I've trained pros. I've trained amateurs who have been in, in national finals. I mean, I know what most of these guys look like. I don't know anybody that looks like him having gone through what he's going through. The nurses have told him that you need a miracle. At this point, you've had cancer three times, and he doesn't listen to stuff like that. Just his ability to overcome all obstacles in life, especially doing it with, with cancer, is, is absolutely amazing. It's mind-blowing. I've never felt more proud of my brother going through treatments every single week. Always being the stronger one, growing up, he... There is nobody else that I know that could deal directly with what he's been going through. A powerful mind will get anyone through anything. I believe that I'll get my miracle. But in the meantime, I have work to do. I told myself that I could fight. I told myself that I could lift. I told my doctor that I would be able to compete again. I told myself that I would be the athlete I once was. I made a choice, a choice that has changed my life. I chose to be strong.